I've never played the first Obey Me game. I'm not really the target audience for this game, but I thought I'd give Obey Me Nightbringer a try since I read that there is a rhythm game mixed into the game as well, and I do like my rhythm games. And yeah, this is an interesting and very jam-packed game indeed. Gameplay-wise, this game has you play as a female or male protagonist that gets magically sent to the Devildom and you meet some handsome demons who all seem to have an interest in you. The game plays off as a visual novel, which for the most part, that's what it is. But as you dive deeper into this game, you unlock more features. For example, when you move into the spooky mansion, you can literally spy on the guys in their rooms and see what they're up to and give them gifts, which doesn't sound creepy at all. You can also tune into voice chat similar to Zoom calls and chat with them too. I think there's a microphone option, or at least it looks like the microphone was picking up my audio, or it could just be sneaky and pretending it is. Either way, it's very immersive. You spend most of your time in the Karasu OS system where you can access all your apps and the rhythm game too. There's even an app that simulates TikTok and you can like the videos made by the demons and even unlock and use different phrases to drop into their comments. The rhythm section is more about how to progress in the game. Play a few rhythm games, then unlock new dialogue to chat with the seven demon men. I'm not really a fan of visual novels too much. So after a while, I was just fast forwarding most of the dialogue to get to the gameplay again. Now. Getting to the rhythm game section, this game basically looked at Muse Dash and said, yes, let's do the exact same thing, but with a story. That's basically what this game is. The controls for the rhythm game section is exactly the same as Muse Dash, but instead of waifus in Muse Dash, they're replaced with ikemen or handsome guys. The biggest difference between the two is that Obey Me Nightbringer has a story mixed in and also a ton of different side apps you can access to increase the interactions, while Muse Dash is just a rhythm game and that's it. Honestly, I'd love a waifu version of this game. Just gender swap everyone and I'd be so down to invest all my time into it. Visually, this game is very nice. The interface is clean and the artwork for the characters is okay. I think they could have done better though. I would have preferred more higher quality artwork. They look kind of rough. They do move around though in live 2D fashion, which is nice. The visuals all in all are satisfactory at most. Overall, I'd say that Obey Me Nightbringer jams in a lot of content into one game. And while I find it funny that they have basically copied the rhythm game mechanics of Muse Dash, the game itself as a whole is very good. I think this could be a great game to play if you like Atome games and if you are a fan of the first Obey Me game. If you're coming in new to the game, that's fine too. You don't need to have played the first game to find enjoyment out of this one. I highly recommend you give it a try if this is something you are interested in. Now, if only they'd make a waifu version for me, that would be amazing. So there you have it. That's my first impression on Obey Me Nightbringer. Thank you for watching. I'm Sorosin. Have a fantastic day. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed my content and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. And if you're watching this on TapTap.io or on the TapTap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. Bye-bye. Bye.